Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be going through the problem called Hours from Week 2's Practice Problems. So what is our program supposed to do? Our program is supposed to take in the number of weeks we've been studying and based on that, ask us for each of those weeks how many hours we've spent on CS50 and then the user will enter either T for total hours or A for average hours per week and our program is supposed to calculate either the average hours that we have spent per week on CS50 or the total hours that we have spent for the number of weeks that we have entered. All right, so let's get started with this problem. I'll be downloading the labs distribution code. So here we have the distribution code and I'll just go through line by line before we do any programming. So first three lines is just the libraries that might come in helpful for us in this project. And next we have the function declaration for the function that we'll be using to calculate the total hours and the average hours. And next we have the main function and in the main function, the first line is asking the user for the total number of weeks that they have been taking CS50. The next line is an array of the hours with size weeks. So we will have an array so let's say, for example, the user enters three for the number of weeks they've been taking CS50, and then we'll create an array of type int of size three. And this array will be storing the hours that they have spent for each of these weeks. So for example, eight hours in the first week, two hours in the second week, and maybe six hours in the third week, and you'll just be storing it like this, all right? Let me just comment here. Maybe you guys will find it helpful if there is a illustration here. So maybe 10, two and six, all right? So this is how the hours were restored in the hours array based on the size um, given by the user for the number of weeks. All right, so for the next for loop here, in this for loop, based on the number of weeks the user have been studying, the program will be prompting the user for the hours they've studied for that particular week. So for example, we have week zero, week one, and week two, if we are using three weeks in our example. And then we have this portion of the code, and this portion of the code is asking the user for either T, total hours, or A, average hours spent per week. And if the user don't enter either T or A, we will be reprompting the user until they give us the characters that we want, all right? And then all the way at the end of the main function here, we will be running the calculate hours function to give the user what they want to find out, all right? So let's begin. So first and foremost, we want to find out the total sum of all the hours combined while the user was taking their CS50 course. How we will be doing it is looping through the array and adding all the items in the array into a variable. And this is how I'll be doing it, all right? So integer total hours, all right? And it will just be stored as zero in the beginning. And let's have a for loop that will be looping through the array to calculate the total hours. So for int current week equals to zero, and the current week will be increasing um, up till the number of weeks the user have taken and the current week will increase every loop. And for every week, we want to add to our total hours. So total hours equals to total hours plus hours uh, current week. And so the current week will be starting from zero all the way up to two in our case or if the week number is more, for example, seven weeks, you increase all the way until six, all right? And we can make this more, uh, we can use a synthetic sugar, as David Mellon mentioned for this, we can do a plus equals here to remove that part of the code. And here we have finally calculated the total hours, all right? Now, based on what the user has entered, either T or A will be either returning the total hours or calculating further to find out the average, all right? So here we can do if output is equals to average, then we want to do 
a specific calculation, which is the average, all right? So for the average, I can create another function, and this time it's gonna be a float. Right. Actually, I don't even have to create a function, I can just return it here. So return total hours divide by the number of weeks, and I'll just put a bracket here in case, um, in case, you know. All right, and semicolons. And then if this is not the case, there are only two choices for here, either total or AR either total or average so if 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 a is not what the user chose it will have been t and so we can just return the total hours and that's it actually let's try running make hours and hopefully i don't have any syntax errors all right so for let's use the example um here maybe Oh, okay. I see an error already. All right. So, okay. You know what? I'll just be running it and give you guys give you guys a test. Try to figure out what my error is. Um, when I ran my program, you guys will realize what this error is. So, for example, I took two weeks. Week zero is gonna be our uh, two uh, two hours, and week one is gonna be eight hours. Sorry, not eight. And t here, and ten hours. So that's correct, right? How about if I use the first example here? Let me run it again. Three weeks, three hours for the first week, seven for the next week, and 10 for the third week. And I want to calculate the average. And as you can see, there's something wrong here. We got a 6.0 while over here it's 6.7. Why that is the case is because I returned total divided by weeks. And in this scenario, Total is an integer, total hours is an integer, and weeks is also an integer. So integer divided by integer will always return an integer, and because of that, the trailing decimal places are just being ignored, so it's defaulted to zero. All right. So what we can do here is we can do two things, but since they want us to um, practice using typecasting, I'll do typecasting here. All right. So we have to change either one of the values here to a float so that it becomes more accurate, all right? So now integer divided by float will return a float, all right? So let's try it again. Make hours dot slash hours. And now if you use the exact same example of three weeks, three hours, seven hours and 10 hours and average, and it will result to 6.7 hours and we are done. Let me just give it a quick check 50 to check if everything is well. All right, so it seems to all be good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys have any questions. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.